CEO, Ronnie from Create a Difference. We have an Idle Pro. Now, this bowling ball obviously has been used, as you can tell. So that's going to have an impact on the reaction. Um, but we're going to throw it nonetheless. And it, what I would tell people is, is just keep that in mind when you're throwing demo balls. If they have, if they're kind of beat up and they're already used, uh, maybe you can get the ball clean, give you a little bit more consistent reaction. If not, nothing else. Uh, it's going to give you a, a, a read on how the ball is uh, once the ball's kind of broke in, so to speak. I'm not a big fan of that because it makes all the balls much, much closer. But nonetheless, that's what we have to deal with. So that's what we will deal with. Woo! That, that, that wasn't the best shot ever. It definitely recovered well, though. So, I have pro new ball from Roto Grip. We'll throw a couple of good shots. And get a little bit of feedback. Oh, that was not good. Don't try that at home. That was actually a really, really bad shot. So all the manufacturers launch balls around this time of year. So you're going to be able to see a fair amount of balls, different types of release, different types of bowling balls from companies. It's always good to be able to get some feedback and kind of get a feel for them. So we're going to try this from here and see where we're at. That's a pretty solid shot. Come back. That's the kind of reaction that you're looking for. You like to see bowling balls that when you get them left like that, they do make the corner and it's a predictable motion or a motion you can rely on. So now, because I know it comes back from there, I'm going to move further right and we're going to check it a little further left just to kind of see. We want to see kind of some of the versatility in this product to cover. If that comes back, we're good to go. Yep, solid piece. Big fan, like that. Um, I think the average consumer likes to see their bowling ball come back. I think uh, where you're gonna struggle with this ball, obviously, is when you have to play on longer patterns. This ball obviously responds to the friction really well, which is a good thing, but that also means that a lot of times those balls can tend to be troublesome when you get on patterns that are more clipped, where the pattern is drier and then uh, wetter on the inside and it's kind of like, like off a cliff. Because what that means is then when you miss in, it goes too long, and when you miss left to the friction, it reacts too aggressively. One more pitch to go. I'm gonna move over here a little bit right here. Let's see what happens. And he thinks that's great. Oh, that was not, oh, we got the one more, bro. That struck. But that definitely was the kind of strike you wanna leave out on. And honestly, here's the thing. It's more about not just striking all the time, it's about understanding what the ball does, even if it's a good or bad shot. That's part of the evaluation here. So even if I don't necessarily throw a strike, throw a strike, I still want to know kind of what the ball does, and I can kind of get a good read off the ball most. All right, one more shot. That's 10 back. Wow, just strong. Just strong down lane. Um, definitely something that I think, I probably, you know what, I like this ball, but I think, let me hang on. It's definitely aggressive. And like I said, this is this is this is interesting because this is broke in, so to speak, right? This is wore in. The ball's at that 4,700 grit finish from being used. Yeah, it's it's a good piece. Um, definitely on the stronger end in terms of back end. Now you know. You can always go to rotorgrip.com for more information or check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hickman, CEO from Crane Difference. Have a great day.